He does seem like someone who might have a little more knowledge than the general population, which makes it all the more confusing that I've sent Matt Dillon on this top secret mission. When since I'm not only his boss, but I'm also a lifelong friend of his, and you know, I was there for the birth of his child, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, so I'm very close with his family to the point that I I remember pulling Knight aside, and he was. He would hint to me, because people are like, oh, you're playing Adam Hassler? Have you read the books? I'm like, Adam Hassler. So I had to say, I'm like, why are all these people tweeting me about, you are such a, you know, it's exciting, because every character has so many lever layers, and nobody's who you think they are entirely, and Hassler is no exception, so. So you didn't know that coming right into it then? I did not know. <laughs> My God. I'm like, I'm America's sweetheart. What is going on? <laughs> You know, but I did try to bring some. Well, yeah, I can't get you now. I'm gonna get American sniper right in my nerd. <laughs> Here's the thing, Chad Hodge is like, you really need to read this, and he gave me some things that were very Adam Hassler specific. Apparently, there's a whole subgenre of fan fiction where people have taken Adam Hassler and like, you know, I'm like, this is interesting. Okay, so. So I did feel I was, but I, but at the same time, you know, I, I I was a little like Terrence Howard. I don't know if you've heard this story, but Terrence did not want to know what was coming week to week, and that's why he does such incredible work because he's a little bit like Christopher Walken takes out the punctuation. He's like, I want to I want to fly without a net, and I thought I actually was like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal that. I don't want to know everything. I want to know some things, and then that was sort of what they hinted. They were like. There's a lot of layers to uh, to Hasler. M. Night Shyamalan shot the pilot. It's very in his world. You know, he has a very specific vision, and that's what I wanted to see because I sort of saw, you know, if you love the Twilight Zone or if you love sort of like these, you know, there's there's so many great and the cast that they assembled for it. That's what I would say. You just tune in for. Sometimes I I don't even need to. I didn't know what True Detective was going to be about. I just was like. Who's, who's Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson? I know those two are buddies. I just want to see that. So when you get this cast, all A-list actors, all with different approaches, and I think we've, you've heard about everybody's different. Watch what happens when those actors interact. When you get somebody like Matt Dillon, who likes to prepare and prepare, and, Matt, and Terrence Howard, who is like a free spirit, who will just jump right off the page. It's pretty electric to see what happens. And, you know, the fact that everybody's such a pro that it's really exciting to see what everybody brings to it. I gotta say that there were times that I'd show up on the set, you know, because Hassler sort of also exists, not just, you know, in the realm of where he finds, he's sort of, you know, I'm holding down... The Secret Service office. Secret, you know, <laughs> Seattle and whatever. So there were times that I'd show up to set and I was obviously on the wrong set and people would be like, it's like, no, take Tim out of this set. Like, and I'd say, it was like, I just wanted to get out my phone and be like, what the hell is that? <laughs> really cool, I must say. The reveals come fast and furious and you know, you know I might have said this back at Comic-Con, but you know, I'm a huge fan of Lost and I've done a few movies with J.J. Abrams. But I remember I cornered him one time and I'm like, you can't string me along for seven seasons to find out that the polar bears are in the zoo. Like, you, you gotta like be a little more generous with, but don't send all the reveals, if anybody watched that show. Like, the reveals yeah, yeah. all came out in the last three weeks. And I'm yeah. like, I'm watching that second show. <laughs> um, but Wayward Pines, it's like every week, they're like, they killed that person? <laughs> this, where are we? It was pretty amazing. The funny thing was, I remember getting the advanced first five scripts, and f four and five were not supposed to be viewed by the actors, and they were like, they came and they took them away. And I, was like, <laughs> I hadn't read it yet. I'm like, God. <laughs> so uh, it's, you know, and I'm used to working around secrecy. So, But as a fan, I kind of want to just let it, I just want to go on the journey too. It's really fun to see stuff that, scenes that you weren't in, like when I remember when I went back and watched the first episode, like, what were they doing out there? So I heard some stories, but man, it's, it's really cool. <laughs> well, we kind of suspected there might be something going on more with Ethan's wife. Is there something going on there, or is that just something they're kind of hinting at? <laughs> Between me and Yes. Ethan's? Is he just a concerned boss, or has he kind of got his personal angle on I'm going to let that play out. It, th that's, I'm close to both of them. <laughs> <laughs> so possibly. 
Yes. Well, you know, that's why I say everybody's, nobody's all the way, you know, all the way good, all the way bad. I think everybody's got a sort of, a sort of gray area of morality. And the fourth episode, there's something so major, such a major reveal that, like, it's really, like, it'll blow your mind. It, like, the... I don't even know if I should say. The fate of a couple characters are determined. Ooh. And a huge, sort of a big swath of the mystery is is revealed. How many answers will we get by the end of the final ten episodes? Oh, all of them. All of them. Yeah. So it's a self-contained series. It's a self-contained series. I will not series. be hanging. <laughs> no, not at all. And that's what I that's what's great about it.